In this episode, I'm going to walk you through how you can successfully make payment on behalf of someone or how you can pay your supplier from your Alipay account. First of all, what you need to do is to have a verified Alipay account. If you don't have a verified Alipay account, I uh, will check in the description of this video as I'll leave a link to how you can verify your Alipay account. So back to this tutorial. If you open your Alipay account, what you need to do is to go to account. I need to go and check my account balance and ensure that the funds I want to transfer on behalf of my client is enough. So when I come to account, then from this interface, I click on balance to check my account balance. So at this moment, this is my account balance I'm having at the moment. I think it is enough. So let me just go back to home page. So I come to home page. So in order for me to transfer the funds to my Alipay account, there are two things that, sorry, in order to transfer the funds to um, my client or make the payment on behalf of my client, there are two things that you need. You need. It could either be the client has to send you his or her supplier's Alipay number or the uh, my client's um, supplier's uh, QR code. In the either way, it works. So in my case, for instance, my client that I'm making the payment, let's go check, has sent me. So this is the QR code that I received from um, this client. I'm making the payment on behalf of her. So from the home page of Alipay, what I need to do from here is to click on the scan at the very top because I'm going to use the QR code to do a payment. So I tap here. So from this interface, I click on album. Then I go and select the QR code that I've received from my client or the QR code that I have to make the payment to. So I select it. From this interface, what you need to do is to ensure that you are selecting the right Alipay QR code. If you go to select a different QR code, you are going to make payment into um, a wrong account. So when you tap on the QR code, it brings you to this interface. From this interface, you have to click on done at the very top. So the system has um, picked the credentials on the Alipay account. So what I need to do from here is to enter the amount I'm supposed to pay on behalf of my client. So I'm paying 3,887.50 RMB. So from here, I click on pay. It's a verify and pay. I click on it. I have to confirm. Now my screen will go blank simply because I have to key in my Alipay payment password. So don't mind about that afterwards it will come. So it means I have given an approval for the payment to be sent. So the payment has been sent duly. When you get to this interface, what you need to do, don't click on done. So you can just take a screenshot of this interface. So after taking the screenshot from this interface, you have to click on done. Then I go to transfer the screenshot evidence to the one that I've made the payment on behalf of. So see what I'm going to do. Payment sent duly. So what this um, client of mine will do is this client will send the payment evidence or the screenshots to his or her supplier. Then the supplier will um, confirm the receipt of the funds. In either way, if for instance, you have mistakenly clicked on done and you can't take the screenshot, what you need to do from here is to come to message or you come to um, account, I should say. So from here, you can go to my transactions. When you come to transactions, you see the money that you um, have sent. That's I've sent um, 3,887.50 RMB. So I tap on that one. 
for it to open or give me the full details of the money that I have sent successfully. So you can either send this screenshot to um, the person you have made the payment on behalf. Then the person can also send a screenshot evidence, the screenshot to uh, his or her supplier. Then the supplier will confirm um, receipt of the money. So folks, this is how we transfer funds from one account to another or make payment on behalf of someone. If you find value in my tutorials, I'll play with you to hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and stay updated as and when I drop a new video. For more videos, you can check in the description of this video so that you can get yourself updated with other uh, tutorials I've already presented.